All right, everybody. So all of the information for the upcoming Thousand Year Blood War banner is out. Special thanks to Heken for getting us the extended gameplay. I'll have his channel linked in the description if you want to watch the raw footage over there. Starting off with Aizen. This character is the most exciting character in the banner, in my opinion. He's got a huge list of skills, but it's really the way that these skills work together that makes this character so good. If we look at his normal attack damage output, because he's a ranged normal attack character, he's got flurry plus one, so normal flurry right off the bat. But... You gotta remember that he also gets 20% extra normal attack damage from his soul trait and 40% extra normal attack damage from his bruiser ability. Now on top of that, he's gonna have a status ailment attack boost plus 80%. And he's gonna be proccing his status ailments all the time because he's got increased proc chance against speed attribute enemies. So basically guys, you're gonna be doing massive damage. Uh, that 80% boost is gonna be up 90% of the time and your enemies are probably going to be weakened because of his procs. But he's not just doing massive damage output. He's doing it very efficiently because he's also got guard break and hit hidden enemies. Also, if there's dodging enemies, he can hit those as well. Now, as if he didn't have enough damage, he also has the new gauge effect, which is which will like give him 100% more normal attack damage on top of what he already has. So uh, this is basically the same thing that Uryu has, 7th Anniversary Uryu has. It's going to proc every once in a while. Oh yeah, and I should also mention that he also has boost and multi-barrier. Okay, that's Aizen in a nutshell. I'm going to put his arena abilities on the screen as well in case you're interested in those. But yeah, they did a great job. This is definitely redemption for the original manga Aizen that they came out with a few years ago. I think K-Lab learned their lesson. Okay, moving on to the new Yamamoto, and I just want to take one second to acknowledge the attention to detail that K-Lab has put into this character. That Strong Attack 2 homing vortex with the skeletons coming out of the ground is amazing. Probably one of the best Strong Attacks uh, animations I've seen in this game so far. But gameplay-wise, Yamamoto, he has a ton of abilities, and they all work together very nicely. I guess the first thing I want to talk about is his Strong Attacks. He's going to have... The usual Frenzy with the Havoc 20%, which increases his strong attack range. But on top of that, he's also got Berserker 40%, which is more strong attack damage. And he's going to have the status ailment uh, SP boost. So whenever he procs a status ailment, he's going to hit even harder. And he's got Weaken and Fire, which are both excellent uh, status ailments to have. Now, on top of that, he's going to be doing 40% more damage whenever enemies are uh, inflicted with those status ailments. So great DPS output on his strong attacks. Uh, the strong attack 2, homing vortex, best strong attack in the game. He's also got Marauder, which means he's going to be able to hit guarding enemies and uh, melee immune enemies, so that's great. And he's also going to have uh, a ridiculous nuke as well, because his nuke's got bombardment, and it's got weakened defense built in. On top of that, you're doing weakening. So as far as damage output goes, he's obviously going to be top tier. He's got great strong attacks. He's a monster nuker. And he's also got some utility as well because he's got shared status uh, immunity for your whole team, which, um, if, if you played the Ichigo, is a pretty powerful ability, especially in stages that have a lot of ground hazards. You're going to be able to ignore those. Your whole team will be able to ignore those with this Yama going with you. And he's also got dodging hollow enemies 50% of the time, which is great for just passive damage mitigation. And he's got Sprinter Plus 2, so he's fairly quick. So overall, this is an amazing character. He might be as good as the Anniversary Ichigo. I guess that's up for debate. Uh, but he is definitely top tier. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about the new Yuwak. Yuwak is going to be a PvP specialist. And I know a lot of people weren't too hype about it, but he's still going to be very good for what he's made to do. Looking at his abilities, the things that stand out to me the most are Flurry plus 2 and Booster. Booster, if you don't know what that is, it's a boost, except much better. So, he might be a replacement for, say, Tsukushima or the old Chad, if you're still using those characters, to boost your PvP team. Also, he's got a new ability. Anytime an ally or an enemy is knocked out in Brave Battles, Yuwak gets 20% extra normal attack damage. Now, I'm not sure from the description if that stacks, so say, like, two people get knocked out, does it go to 40%? If three people get knocked out, does it go to 60%? Not sure on that. There's some debate, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see uh, when the character actually comes out. Yuwak also has damage reduction 50% at half stamina, 
which means he's going to be super tanky, because he also has Drain, which gives him some self-healing as well. And he does Paralysis, so he should be fairly survivable. As you can see, probably in the He Can clip, he does a 1v3, but I, I don't know how valid that is in a real-life situation, because uh, he kind of relies a little bit on the Soul Bomb in that clip. But it's all, it's all good. Uh, we get the point. Uh, you walk also has weakened immunity, which is great. Poise. He's got Enhancer, Debilitator, all good stuff. And he has, uh, weirdly enough, Guard Break. Uh, now, does that mean he's going to be viable in PvE or single player and co-op content? Uh, I would say maybe. I'm not sure. He should be usable because of the Guard Break and the fact that he has damage reduction 50% at half stamina. He's also got Drain so he can self-heal. He's got weakened immunity, that's good. He should be doing good damage, Flurry plus two. So I, I'd say he'd be kind of viable for auto-wing single player stuff, but there are definitely better options for PvE, unfortunately. Uh, you're most likely gonna wanna bring someone else to uh, that type of content. And that about wraps it up for these characters. Uh, just a quick mention on the filler, guys. The filler isn't great. Now, if you don't have these characters, the filler is fine, but all the filler in this banner, it's old, old, old Thousand Year Blood War characters. So, um, you're not really going to use these characters. It's mostly just for collectability and, you know, spirit orbs, if they are new uh, to your account. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Bye-bye.